kwa Itara Magotfe and I come from the Rotary Club of Makinge. This coming Rotary year, 2022-23, I will be working as the district membership chair. The district membership chair is responsible for the district's growth, retention and recruitment and everything. Today we were meeting our district governor elect, uh, Honorable Mike Sebaru, who invited us to come and share. What does this mean? That he's meeting the team that he's going to work with come next Rotary year, 1st July 2022. So as a membership chair, I am happy that I've met people I've never met, but people I'm going to work with, especially the president elect, people are going to be present next year. Because as a membership chair, I'll be working closely with the presidents and other district officials. So this is very important that we meet, discuss and agree, and then see how the district is going to move forward. I want to begin by thanking God that this day has come to be with all of you in good health and physically here as in your personal capacity. We have a few that have uh, sent messages of apologies, but having you this number, I'm really, really, really encouraged and energized because belonging to a serious team is the best thing that you can have as a leader. So I decided that we have this meet and greet, as it is uh, properly put there, so that the leaders get to know each other, know one another, and get to appreciate and understand and cherish one another. So I really want to thank you for having accepted. Definitely, you may have gone through a lot of inconvenience to be here. The jam can be very disturbing, but the fact that you are here is something good to write home about. I simply wanted to interact with you in your home. This is going to be your home for the Rotary year 2022-2023. For any reason you need some kind of support or anything, or even just to branch and wait for the, the jam to clear, you can always come. So this is your home. That is the reason that I chose that we do it here. We could have done it anywhere in town where it is more convenient, where there are no jams, but I felt that if you're a leader and the people you are working with don't know where you stay, that is the beginning of bad leadership. You begin by opening your home to your team so that for any reason someone is not going to say, you know, I, should, I, I ought to have advised on this, but I didn't know where to get you from. So this is the place. And there is another place again where we will meet Again, you'll be able to know where else to meet and we do our business. Mr. Governor, in the names of Sir Longo Zevia and uh, I, I, wanted, I wanted to be a bit selfish on this one. I, I needed someone out of the ordinary because there are too many men. So I had to choose a Sir Longo. So he's going to be uh, the vice governor and I really want to say that uh, he's been a pillar in my Rotary journey. We happen to have gone to the same school, King's College Budo. We are Salongos, but he's been a pillar in my Rotary journey at different stages. He has been advising me, he has been motivating me, inspiring me, encouraging me, so he's someone who has been there for me as I moved the Rotary journey up to this level. So I really want to thank you and I believe that we are going to work together and be able to deliver uh, good on the promise that we have. As a team, you are something. As a team, you are everything. Individuals can excel but it is only teams that win. 
you can never get an individual winning. It is the team that wins, and sustainable victory is by teams. Even the individuals who are extraordinarily talented, the Messi's of this world, the Ronaldo's of this world, they can excel as individuals. But when it comes to winning, it is the team that wins. Because it is very possible for a Messi to score 10 goals. As an individual, he has excelled. But if the other members of the team don't do what they are supposed to do, the opposing team can easily score 12. And the team loses the match. Although Messi as an individual has excelled and he has scored 10 goals. So for the victory to be guaranteed, the individuals can excel, but only in a team and where the team is delivering on their individual responsibilities. So if you score many goals and the goalkeeper lets in more, you will lose the match, although you will have excelled as an individual. So that's why I called you here from day one, so that we don't overemphasize our individualness, but we put emphasis on team. And that is what we are doing today. The introduction was for purposes of each and every one of us knowing the members of the team. You simply cannot play with the people you don't know. You cannot play with the people you don't understand. You cannot play with the people you don't appreciate. And the reason that we are here is to understand each other, is to know each other, is to appreciate each other, is to encourage each other and begin the team spirit. The idea of the team is the reason that we are here. And it is something we need to start early in the day. That's why we've started by that. And we are going to have a lot of team building with us, we have someone who is going to lead us in that, so that we are able to build a team. Now, a team can only be built on the basis of team spirit, team cohesion, team solidarity, and you can only do that by ensuring there is teamwork as well. Team selection is important. Uh, for each and every one of you, you are here out of that process of team selection. Actually, selecting the team is the harder work, is the most difficult than having a team to deliver. So team selection is quite an exercise. It's not a cup of tea, but we had to go through it. And out of that exercise, you are the best team that we could assemble in the circumstances. So we need to motivate each other. And the, those of you that are presidents, I can never claim that I had a hand in your occupying of the places that you do occupy. <laughs> but it goes back to my notion of team. You as individuals wouldn't be here if your clubs did not consider you worthy of being the team leaders of your clubs. So each one of us here is an outcome of a process where team spirit and teamwork is something that we can talk about. Now, I want to define team the way we define it uh, in, a, in the corporate world. Team is together, each one of us achieves the more. That is the definition of team. T is for together, E is, all, is for each one of us, a is achieve and M is more. So together each one of us achieves more. And I really want to tell you that each one of you who is here is going to achieve more because we are together. Each one of you is going to achieve more because we play as a team. That's why we had to bring you together so that you get to appreciate the different competencies and the skills sets, so that you know that if it is a matter to do with education, the right person to call is maybe one of, among many, is Safina, who is in that sector. If you're an assistant governor, be the best that you can be, so that you become a role model. At the end of the day, 
I want each and every one of you to be a celebrated Rotarian in your office. So be a celebrated leader. And all of you were picked on the understanding that you are celebrated already or you have potential to be celebrated. These are the only two considerations. Some of you are already celebrated, but those that are not celebrated now, we saw that they have all the potential to be celebrated leaders. There is no one outside that category here. So be the celebrated leader that we want to have. And let's emphasize that. So out of that, together, each one of us achieves more. I've kind of come up with what will drive us as a team. And what will drive us as a team is a simple expression, working together to achieve more. I want us to aspire to work together to achieve more. Because when you are together, you are something, as I already indicated, where you are individualistic, you are nothing. So let's work together to achieve more in our clubs, in the dockets that we have, in the zones where we are going to serve, in the district offices and the committees where we are going to serve. Let's work together to achieve more. Let that be the catchphrase in our mind that drives us as we go through the year. Definitely our president is going to choose a theme which we shall adopt, but at the local scene, as we await for that theme, let's believe in working together to achieve more because we know that team means each one of us uh, getting more, achieving more. And this is also informed by the new vision statement of Rotary, where we talk about together we see a world where people unite and take action for purposes of causing lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. So again, the togetherness is uh, a, a factor that we need to use. We've already united under this state, and we are together, and we want to see a world, uh, you know, that is changed drastically, lasting change. As a president, make that lasting change. As an AG, make the lasting change. As a district officer, make the lasting change. So that you fit into, we work together and achieve more, so that you also fit into the notion of team, uh, so that then we are able to play a great role. Now, in order to do that, there are three P's we need to appreciate. The first P is purpose. What is the purpose of your being in the office that you are? You must have a purpose. And it must fit into the collective purpose of the district. We have our strategic plan, we have our work plans, but that purpose must define your decisions, your actions, and your engagements. And that must be something that you appreciate. The second are the processes. The second piece, process. What do you go through in order to achieve the purpose because without process you cannot you cannot live long enough to achieve the purpose so you need to go through the processes we are going to have training we have instruments we have policies we have procedures you have to use all of them you have to enrich your knowledge base be a leader with a knowledge base it is very risky to be a leader without knowledge because then you appeal to authority that's why people keep reminding, don't you know I'm the president? You don't have to say so. If you're doing the right thing, I don't have to be reminded that you're the president. But without knowledge, without anything, you may have to keep reminding people you are their president, you are the AG, you are the governor. You know, that is because your actions are not feeding into uh, the expectations of the people. So I want a team that is driven by knowledge and a team that drives by knowledge. Being driven by knowledge and driving by knowledge are two important variables that we need to have. So the second P is process. Let's be thorough at the level of process so that we are able to fulfill what we've set out 
in the purpose. And the final P are the people. There is no way you can have a complete cycle without the people. The people are the team like you are here. You are all part of the people category. But you have the subordinates, the people under you. You have the beneficiaries, the people for whom you serve. You have the, 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 the government in terms of regulation. So whatever we do, we need to go around the three P's. Purpose, process, and people at different levels so that we are able to make good. Now, in order to be able to do that, we need also to apply a few C's that may be useful in this. I call them the, the C principles. One, we need to believe in collective critical thinking. You can do critical thinking at an individual level, but doing it cumulatively at a collective level is also something good to write home about. Critical thinking, when you are faced with a situation, try to think out of it. Don't use emotions, don't use just the energy to get out of uh, difficult situations or leadership situations. Let's be critical thinkers as leaders. The second C is for us to ha engage in continuous learning. Make sure in any audience where you are, you pick something for the day. Every day have a take home in whatever situation you are so that you enhance that notion of continuous learning. Because every day we continue learning. Today I invited you so that I can learn from you as members of my team. If there is anything by God's grace that you can learn from me, please take it as well. Because we are here to learn from each other and learning is a continuous process. The third thing is communication. Be effective at communication. Without communication, nothing much can happen. Even good things can happen without being known. I, I have issues at times with my, with my government or our country. There are so many things we do as a country, very good things, but we never go out to speak about them. And you find other people picking our blueprint, renaming it, and claim authenticity of uh, those kind of programs or whatever. So communication is important, both internally, communicate with your internal public, communicate with your external public. Communicate within the club, communicate outside the club, communicate within the district, communicate outside the district. So that C is also important. Another C is consultation. You gain a lot by consulting and you lose a lot by not consulting. Something that may appear very complicated may be made so easy by a phone call or by a hello to uh, a friend. So consult, you don't lose anything. You get free knowledge. Some of, that's why consultants are earning heavily. But in Rotary we can earn a lot of knowledge and information by just consulting colleagues from their different core competencies. And we enrich our own capacity. Let's do that as leaders using the resource base that we have. Be cooperative, cooperation is important. The idea of uh, seeing yourself in yourself and not anything in any other is defeatist and selfish and it may not give you the desired results. So as clubs, let's cooperate. Let's work together, even as individuals. The other is collaboration. Let's be collaborative, let's collaborate and be able to build synergies and be able to deliver. You can consolidate the gains that you've had across board. And the final C is celebration. That is why we have uh, uh, my brother, Geoffrey, who is already on duty. Because at the end of the day, we have to celebrate the different achievements through the year. And uh, can uh, Geoffrey stand up for recognition? Oh. Yeah, he's on the phone call. Because he's there to prepare for our celebration. Because each and every one of you will have that moment of celebration as an outstanding AG, as an outstanding district officer, as an outstanding president. So all of us have to celebrate. That's why we have that kind of officer. And the areas that we want to consider for celebration are the following. We need to leave more clubs than we find when we take office. And I've already shared with the presidents 
uh, the, the presidential team coordinator is yet to arrive, but the presidents are already networking. We've had audience with them. We continue engaging. I'm encouraging each one of us, each club, to mother another club, individually or collectively. You can work with another club, two, three clubs, and you mother the club. But at least at the end of the day, I want each and every president to be associated with the process of founding a new club. If you can do it by yourself, well and good. If you can do it through collaboration, well and good. But each and every president must be seen to be associated with the process of founding a new club. Because what I want to see as governor at the end of the day is that I'm the second governor. We've had our pioneer governor, John Magesi Ndamira, uh, who will be joining us later and who sent apologies because he's on duty. He's uh, having a club visit and a launch of another uh, important rotary event, but he will be joining. But he has done great work. Pioneering anything has never been easy. He's been a great leader, pioneering and laying a great foundation. And he's going to leave, no doubt, a very strong club. And I consider myself lucky to come after someone who has done great work. Mine will be the easier way of consolidating the gains and trying to take it to another level. So he's leaving many clubs. And we need to think already, I told the presidents, they need to think about areas where we need some new clubs. And already some presidents are scouting around, looking for places where Rotary can thrive uh, so that they can start. Because the idea behind that is that at the end of my tour of duty, the best case scenario that would really make me feel good is when the conversation of redistricting is beginning. <laughs> I want the conversation of redistricting to begin with the second governor. <laughs> I'm talking about conversation. And you know what brings a conversation? When clubs are growing, when membership is growing, definitely you can't run away from the conversation of we can get two districts out of this. Now that is the stimulus that I want us to put in the district. So that at the end of your tour of duty, the conversation around starting a new district out of District 9213, that conversation begins. Uh, we need to look around and going back to the theme of uh, working together to achieve more. We need to start thinking about joint projects. And already, as individual presidents, I want you at the end of the day, before we leave this place, when we go for some easy time, because we are having a bit of this program and we want to create time for networking. So while networking, three of you can agree from here and say we are going to work together on this project so that you even start modalities and uh, conversations of having that in place. That's why we want to create time for that networking so that you build synergy and you start conversations of uh, working together. In this Rotary year, we have an idea, the presidents are very serious. They have an idea of starting a Rotary Circle. There are circles in many places. Why can't there be a Rotary Circle that can get to levels of Wazalendo with billions and billions of shillings? We have one of our members who is a very competent person in that area. Uh, she's already uh, done root work within the uh, the, the, the coordination team of the presidents and we want to see a Rotary circle in place. Is that an idea that would be happy with? Because we have all the brains, we have all the technical capacity. Uh, so basically we want to be a very important, we want to grow. Now during my year I also want to look at an area like this year, John Magazine in Damira looked at MCH. Uh, for me, I want to look at uh, basic education and literacy. 
because I believe that that is cross-cutting. With the basic education and literacy, you can get all the seven areas of focus properly uh, undertaken because it goes with the exposure, with the knowledge base and all that. Because if you have people who are literate, issues of public health become, okay, economic empowerment, someone can be able to balance the books, uh, maternal and the child, you know how to look after your children. So we believe, uh, that is my belief, that that is an area, and we want to call it the basic education and the literacy enhancement program. BELEP, it's BELEP, B-E-L-E-P, basic education and literacy education enhancement uh, program. And I want uh, someone who has already uh, done good in such an area, uh, Chitakule, can you stand up for recognition? Chitakule is the person that is going to drive that agenda. We are already uh, looking at possibilities of doing it. So I've already shared with the presidents that you have many programs going ahead, many projects, but if you have an area that you can do in that uh, area of focus of education and basic literacy, it is something that we want to give emphasis. But we are not abandoning the others. All the others are going to have space, but we want to give a little more emphasis on that. Our literacy levels are not very encouraging uh, nationally, uh, regionally and continentally, and as Rotary, we want to create impact in that area and be able to uh, justify our relevance. So once again, our members, I invited you here to just share a few thoughts. We will be having more interactions in a specific manner where we meet with the presidents, with the edges, with the officers, so that we address issues in very specific terms. Today was to break the ice so that we put face to name, so that we get to know each other and we get to appreciate each other, like we've uh, indicated. And one thing that I want to conclude with is that all of you share one commonality with me. I take you as my friends. At least for me, I know you are my friends. You may have other ideas, but for me, but for me, you are my what? Friends. My friends. And I'm here with the friends. That is number one. The number two is the trust. I trust each and every one of you. Unless you choose to do otherwise. For me, you owe and you won my trust. And that way, I believe we can work together. And three, belief. I believe in your action. I believe in your endurance. I believe in your commitment. Uh, thank you, Honorable Mark, for the invitation. I'm glad to be here to share with us a moment. Uh, I was asked to just come and share something with us, so we'll do it twofold. One is experiential, another one is an engagement. So I came with a colleague of mine, he's called uh, Coach Herbert. He does a lot of experiential team building, so we'll do a bit of a team building just to get to know each other better. It's a meet and greet. Uh, we'll jump a little bit out there and then we come and sit. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Okay. So someone told me when you go in a place, people are of two kinds. You are either wise or you are otherwise. No, I don't know. J just look at your neighbor. How are they looking now? Are they looking wise? Or... <laughs> the opposite of what I say and do what I say. <laughs> say the opposite of what I say and do what? What I say. If I say jump left, you say jump, jump right. right. But you jump right. right. If I say jump in, you say jump, jump out. out. Jump out, you say jump in, but you jump out. If I say jump out, you say jump out, but you jump in. Jump left. Jump left. Jump right. Jump right. Jump in. Jump in. Jump left. Jump left. Jump left. Jump left. Jump right. Jump right. 
Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Jump right. Jump right. Jump left. Jump left. Jump left. Jump left. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Jump out. Jump left. Jump left. Jump right. Jump right. Wow. Clap for yourself. You like to teach her to have given back for another club, right? Is that the social way that you take it? So I believe you guys, by the end of 2023, you have multiplied or added one more club for each one. Say the opposite of what I say and do what I say. Jump in! Because this shows us if you can lead the club or not, right? Okay. Okay, let's go fast. Jump out! Jump in! Jump out! Jump out! Jump in! Jump out! Jump in! Jump out! Jump in! Jump left! leaders focus on something and then probably forget that there are other surroundings or other things failing as a leader. Yes, I've seen people here running to get the prize 
but forgetting that on the way there are other hurdles. Four on three. I don't see ladies popping in. It's interesting. Ladies popping. This is your game. Again, it's ladies pop. This is your game. Um, I think that's when we this is your game. Come over, come over. Through games and it's really interactive. We are just here for a bit and bit. Are we making a number seven? We'll be working this one. One, two, district. one, two, three, it's four, five. For us, one, two, three, four. Hey, remember, popping, popping. Now we know we'll be doing. I need seven players. We have met presidents here. You, you can. So you can't you can recycle. For us. Hi, my name is Michael Boa, and I'm the, from the Ultra Club of Kampala East. I'm going to be the social media coordinator for this 1913 from the year 2022 to 2023. So, my take home from uh, this meet and greet uh, with our DG is for us to embrace teamwork and put every aspect of teamwork in everything we do so that we are able to coordinate and work with other Rotarians, the characters, to make sure that the district goals and all achievements are met at the right time and you know uh, by the end of the, um, the Rotary year next year we should be able to celebrate those milestones.